Apparently Tampax, a tampon distributor, may be asking transgender men or women uh, or whatever to sponsor them on TikTok. But why? I mean, honestly, I can't believe anybody is even surprised at this at all. Because to make money? I mean, Tampax is just trying to double their market share like overnight. I mean, just when you thought the tampon markets all dried up. I haven't laughed that hard since I was a little girl. Thank you. Tampax finds a way to soak up more profits. Oh, you're not joking. The marketing team being inspired by the visionary social influencers on TikTok. 75 of being a girl and I've been carrying around tampons and pads for the past two months, but I've actually never opened one up. So yeah, you know, what exactly a transgender dude is supposed to do with a tampon is still unclear. Mr. Roboto is lying to us. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Open mouth kissed a horse once. Say what? I mean, traditionally, transgender dudes were supposed to try to, like, reduce the crotch bulge, I think. I thought the letters stood for small, medium, and large based on the size of your Barbie pouch. And you would think attempts at using tampons, you know, would do the opposite. I guess my question is, which one do I carry around? The super? But, rest assured, the marketing team will think of some flow they can stop so as to get the revenue flow to start. And we all just normalize women having bulges sometimes. So normalize the bulge. We are normalizing the bulge. Women can have bulges and that's okay. 